So there are a number of KPIs that uh, the service providers would have to look into, which are very similar to the KPIs that they have been using for voice in legacy uh, networks. And uh, these would be much more relevant to the network side of performance. So we're talking about call drops, we're, calling, we're talking about blocks or uh, setup attempts and failures. Uh, then of course, because Volta is a slightly different beast from a legacy voice, there's information that has to do with the packet data infrastructure. And uh, here we're talking about packet loss, uh, packet jitter, packet delay. Uh, overall, it's very important for service providers to look into the mean opinion score and uh, in any way metrics that have to do with the way that customers perceive uh, the, uh, the voice service. And what is also key is when we're talking about Volta, is to see whether Volta is part of, a, of an overall picture. So if Volta comes together uh, with uh, the 2G and 3G legacy voice support, it is very important to look into the interworking of Volta with 2G, 3G voice via uh, SRVCC and also the interworking with Wi-Fi if Volta is in together with voice over Wi-Fi. And uh, what we would say overall is that it's very important to look into KPIs that go beyond the network side and uh, quantify as much as possible customer experience. So that would mean that it's important for service providers to look into uh, the, the user equipment that is being used, the area, the time. There are a lot of different variables uh, that need to be taken into account. And also to be open-minded when it comes to the data sources that they use to assess the overall customer experience. There have been a number of uh, technical challenges and uh, we have been discussing some uh, here today. Uh, interworking, uh, roaming, interconnect is also you know, something that we need to take into account. But what I would say from our experience working with service providers, what is very important is to look at what we tend to call end-to-end -end experience. And uh, it's very important to go beyond uh, network domain silos. So Volta spans not just the radio access, it goes to the core and IMS, and it's important to start thinking in that way. And in the past, service providers may have been organized in a way that looks after a specific domain only and tries to address the issues that have to do with this domain. We believe that it's very important when it comes to Volta and going forward as well, to go beyond the silos. So to look at how the, the different domains of the network affect the Volta user experience and uh, also it's very important to put Volta in the broader picture of the customer experience. So if there are other parts, legacy technologies, uh, Wi-Fi and so on that come together with Volta as a voice service, it's very important to look into this uh, integrated picture. Depending on the, on the specific service provider and the country we're talking about, the next step could be voice over Wi-Fi. Also, these Volt and voice over Wi-Fi tend to come together based on the same IMS infrastructure. Uh, there's also video and uh, some of the service providers who have launched Volta, but a minority, have also gone for video over LTE. And then there's everything that we have been discussing in terms of rich communication services. The, the ability to add uh, to the voice experience what the OTT providers have been providing for, for a while uh, via all the apps we have been using. And also it's very important then to look into how the different aspects of the IMS infrastructure would work. So how voice and vault and video over LTE would uh, uh, interoperate, which is a very important part, of course. Yes, there has been a lot of talk about cloud, about virtualization and so on. And uh, uh, it's not surprising because service providers have been trying to find ways uh, to become more agile, to become more flexible, uh, to minimize their cost. And uh, it's very important when you are dealing with uncertain technologies, new technologies, uh, to be able to, be, to, to have a scalable infrastructure. So it's no surprise that virtualization and virtual IMS has been something that uh, some service providers have looked into. And overall, the ability to have resources on the cloud and be able to scale as required gives the service providers the ability to uh, actually address the demand as it, as it comes, rather than plan ahead, uh, much further ahead, and in fact, over plan and over provision. So it's not surprising again that this has been a key uh, topic of discussion. And of course, it's not a 
a straightforward walk. It does have its challenges, especially when it comes to uh, the ability to work in an environment that has physical resources as well as virtual resources. And of course, there will be some network functions and some uh, potentially much more data plane related uh, uh, applications that are more difficult to virtualize than others. It's always very important for us as a vendor to hear what uh, the service providers who have launched Volte say, you know, their next steps. And uh, it's important to exchange views and uh, to see where we're going, what the, what the next step will be.